So we are in the smallest bar in the world, the winner of two times Guinness World Record for being the smallest bar in the world. And you can see this room is the entire bar. The entire bar, it's four square meter. And as you can see, it's, it's taller than it's wider. This is Filippo. And this is Yoyo. And today we are at Navigli in Milano and we are going to the smallest bar in the world. Can only host four people and today we are one of them, uh, two of them. Yes, it's called Backdoor 43. Yes. And of course to get in you have to book in advance because it's so small that you're not gonna find a place. It's the number 48 best bar in the world. We're very high in the chart. Uh, pay attention when you go there because it's so small that you might not see the door at all when you walk by and you just pass by and won't find it ever. So today we're gonna show you where it is. We are here and you see that there's another bar next to it. There's a door full of stickers and this little small door is where we're headed. And the name Backdoor 43 comes from the fact that it's at number 43 of this street. So just look for the 43 and you will find it. So since it's very hard to get a spot here, even if you didn't book or you didn't manage to book in your vacation or whenever you come here, you can just come here, knock on the door and they can prepare you a cocktail to go. So just fully anonymous with this door that opens at the height of the body here. So no faces are revealed, the whole bartender identity remains unknown. So it's a really mysterious kind of hidden place. Ciao, buonasera, benvenuti. Buonasera. Ciao. Buonasera. Ciao, buonasera, benvenuti. Possiamo filmare? Sì, non problema. certo, non c'è problema. Grazie. Obviously, it's like a little cocktail living room just for yourself. It has these high ceilings, so you can really like admire all the bottles that are placed on the on the walls. And then it has that map as a ceiling with the chill music and the low lights it really gives off a very cozy feeling you have the dark wood you have the very close proximity with the bartender you just really focus on the drinks and on the social change that you have while you're here and everything else just accommodates you and kind of sets you in this cozy feeling that you are in and if you book the place you this becomes your living room and so uh, you are just here with the bartender you can ask him anything and, and and you can feel at home. And they have this beautiful menu that it's like a, a map, like a treasure map. And the, the theme behind it, it's the smallest things in the world. So there is the smallest volcano, the smallest island, uh, the smallest tribe, and so on and so forth. And all the cocktails are very interesting. Uh, I, for example, took uh, the, the Genji which is the smallest population in the world. And the, the interesting thing about this cocktail is that it's built with low temperature cooked mushrooms. Uh, me, for my part, I ordered a cocktail based on my taste. So I was talking a little bit to our bartender about what I usually drink, what is like my favorite cocktail. And I told him that I like gin tonic, but also my favorite cocktail is the porn star martini, for example. So there's gonna be a little bit of a mixture from this kind of impression of my own taste. So let's see how it's gonna turn out. Look at how cute is this cocktail, first of all. It's <laughs> incredibly nice. This is a date and this is the cocktail. And I will first sip and then I will eat the date. Let's see. Mm. Oh yes, you can feel the mushroom filling the, the top of your mouth with this smell that also goes inside your nose. You can feel the whole, the whole forest, the whole woods. Mm -hmm. let, let, me, let me take the date, just a piece of it, so I leave a little bit for you as well. And then see how the sweetness of the date matches with this little cocktail from mm -hmm. the smallest bar in the world. Okay, yeah, the, sweet, the sweetness of the tongue enhances even more the smell of the mushrooms in the, in the nose and on the, on the top of the tongue. I'm enjoying, there is everything. <laughs> the side of the tongue feel the, feel the freshness while the, the top of the mouth feels the, 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 
the earthiness of the mushroom and then on the top of the tongue you feel everything mixed together and the sweetness just helped to bring everything out. Okay, so first of all it's beautiful, it's got this little flower on top and it's just so minimalistic and classy. I love it. Oh wow. Ooh, what? <laughs> I, I cannot believe that what I told him, the porn star martini kind of tropical fruits vibe and the gin tonic are inside here. I am so excited to try this gin. Oh yeah, now I understand your reaction. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's definitely special. It's definitely something else. I love the glass, it's so small. I love small things, small glasses, small containers. Okay. Oh wow, I know what you mean by you have the forest inside of your mouth. You already smell it while you drink it. Also like the bitterness makes it more like, you know, this kind of rustic foresty tone. And then to be honest, I can already feel the date because I eat a lot of dates and I know the taste of my tongue. I can feel it inside somehow. I can like Try already to taste. It. Try to be it. Fitted like a puzzle piece that fits inside this cocktail. I'm impressed. We had to take a second one and I took the Monte Busca. The name is from the smallest volcano in the world, which is in Italy. And uh, since it's inspired by a volcano, it's supposed to be very smoky. That there is a, a scotch whiskey that gives this kind of peaty flavor and some uh, smoke syrup uh, on top. There is a little nut with a little bit of balsamic vinegar. So I'm gonna grab it from the top of the ice and I'm gonna eat it and then I'm gonna taste the drink. <laughs> okay, when, when I closed the eyes I was imagining a volcano. The nut with its typical very bitting taste plus the balsamic I was giving the freshness, started the eruption and then when I drank and I felt the smoke filling my mouth, then the eruption was completed. Hotness but at the same time coolness and, and smokiness and like earthy, like you can really feel the rocks of the volcano. So this time we took a spin on the gin tonic, we made it a little more softer and with a little bit of a floral and herbal um, twist, as far as I understood. Ooh, wow. Well, I am drinking a gin tonic, I can feel it, but you have this kind of smell, like an herbal floral smell that comes into your nose. I don't really know if I can identify it, maybe it's lavender kick. Che cosa c'è di erbale, fiorale? Allora, all'interno c'hai gin, un pochino di shoshu, che è un distillato giapponese con all'interno del sapore di shiso, verde. C'è del bitter al cardamomo, qualche goccia e qualche goccia di bitter alla lavanda. Ah, ok. Ci hai preso. Un po' di cedrata e tonica. So the lavender I got, like I feel like I'm, I'm in a bathtub or in like, some kind of like herbal garden. Well, the lavender literally sends your your mind directly to to this kind of freshness and cleanliness, almost like soap. There is a soft bitterness to it. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of gin tonics in general, but I have to say that this one is probably my favorite <laughs> variation of a gin tonic that I have drank. Like the smell is super pleasant. I love the balsamic vinegar inside, but I also love the smokiness. It's kind of mixed in such a good way that I, as a not whiskey lover, am convinced I want to drink this drink. So we just got out of the back door 43 and it was such a pleasant experience. It's so good to be so close to the bartender and to be able to have a conversation without too much noise, too much music, just you know, like really feeling like you are in your own living room, but with the experience of having top-notch cocktails. The private bartender in your own living room, basically. And they're so friendly, they listen to you, they listen to your stories, where you're from, how you found the bar, and then, you know, the whole story with the personalized cocktails, where you can tell them what's your taste, what's your favorite cocktail, whatever, and they just magically create something for you. And it was amazing. Most of the cocktail that they did for me, I felt so cherished. I felt like it was tailor-made for me and I mean 
It's not your usual bar. It's not a usual bar. This is Definitely a special not. bar. And if you have the chance, book it and come. And then you come out of it and you have this view of the Navidio Canale and you can enjoy the atmosphere, you can walk around with all of the people sitting outside of the bars. It's just a whole experience. The smallest bar in the world, biggest heart in the world. <laughs> Approved.